y'all hope you're ready for this lesson here. Red Hills Polka is the tune we're going to cover. It's a pretty fun tune, and we haven't done a polka yet. Uh, pretty straightforward, but a lot of fun. We're going to do it in double C, capoed up to the key of D. So I got our fifth string up to an A. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll do a measure by measure breakdown. Let's take a look at measure number one. Really straightforward, we're just, just doing a couple boom chickas. I'll play that a little more cleanly. As I said, that's really straightforward. I think we'll just move on to measure number two. Also pretty straightforward. We got a boom chicka there with the boom note split with the pull off. And a couple boom notes. So fingering wise on the first measure, notice I'm using my first finger here for that second fret note. Pretty standard for this tuning. Second measure, I'm just going to move that over my third finger to grab that fourth fret note. I'll just stay in position there. All right, that takes us to the third measure, and as you see, it's the same as the first. Nice and simple, straightforward. So we'll move on to the fourth measure, and there it's going to be a whole lot like the very first, or like the second measure, rather. Uh, but a little different ending. That ending's going to take us into that uh, fun, speedy little kind of musical resolution there that the melody does. So we'll, I'll play that measure for you. Hear that little knockdown at the end. It's the beginning of a knockdown line there. takes us right into measure number five. We start this little riff. I'll play that a little slower for you. And the next measure, measure six, is the same thing. Measure five and measure six together. Uh, so notice that's basically all just a knockdown there. It starts, as I mentioned, at, on the last beat of the uh, measure number four. Then we're just knocking down. We have a couple. We're pulling off there otherwise. Otherwise, it's all knocked down. And it'll continue that way into the seventh measure. Here I'm going to shift up, and I'm going to grab that fifth fret note with my second finger. Again, that's pretty straightforward stuff. Start out with a little knockdown, then a boom chicka. Chicka, chicka, boom chicka. That takes us into measure eight. We stay in position here and just grab the seventh fret with our pinky. And again, it's chicka, chicka, boom chicka is going to be the rhythmic uh, cadence of this measure. Hopefully you follow with me and shift it up and grab that fifth fret with your second finger when you started the seventh measure, because that keeps you in position for this. Play that one more time for you, a little more slowly. So 
that was our first ending. And you see the repeat sign there. That's going to take you all the way back to the top of the tune. And so we'll keep on keeping on through this part. And when we get back to that first ending, we'll skip it and hit the second ending. Um, so we don't have to walk back through those measures, but I'll play back through them. So we'll imagine I just re uh, hit the repeat sign and went back to the beginning. There's the second measure, third. to the ninth. I went ahead and played the ninth and the tenth there, uh, just because that the musical idea is resolving there. It kind of you kind of want to hear that last note, and the tenth measure is really simple. So I'll do that again. Ninth and tenth measures. Alright, so that takes us straight to the second part of the tune, the B part here. So that starts on measure 11. Another simple one, it's going to look and sound like this. That's just two straight boom chicka strums on that, on our one chord there, our C chord. Measure 12 should look familiar to you. That's a repeat of uh, our second measure in the tune. So as per usual, I won't hang on that measure for you since we've already done it at least once in this lesson. So let's take a look at measure 13. We're back to that home chord position. Got my finger on the second fret of the first string. Play that a little more cleanly for you, but you see it's just a basic boom chicka followed by a couple straight boom notes. That takes us into measure 14. A couple uh, open string boom notes followed by a little boom chicka motion with a pull off there to split the boom. Hopefully that's working out for you. We'll move on to measure 15. Here I'm just putting a little bit of slide into this fourth fret note here on the third string. Okay, do that a little more slowly. That's a pretty straightforward measure. We hung out there long enough. We'll go ahead and take a look at measure 16. One more time, measure 16. I'll take us into measure 17. If you noticed when I played measure 16, kind of a habit as I was finishing up on those open strings, my finger just wandered down here to that home chord position, which is good because we're going to need to be there for measure 17. Another simple measure. Measure 18, very familiar to us now. Don't need to hang out there. We've done that a few times. So measure 19 is another where we're hanging on the home chord and just playing some boom chickas on the open third string. Measure 20 is almost exactly like that measure that we keep repeating throughout the tune, but it's going to end a little differently, so I'll play that for you a few times. Yeah, 
And the only difference between measure 20, measure 18, and all the uh, preceding occurrences of that measure is that at the very end we're doing a knockdown instead of a straight boom. So. It's a chicka instead of a boom at the end. Uh, but that's probably pretty clear to you. So we'll go ahead and move forward to measure 21. Back to the home chord position here. Boom. Check up. Boom. Boom. Measure 22. A lot of open strings here. Pretty straightforward. That's going to take us into the final line of the tab, 23, is a repeat from the ending of the A part. We're kind of ending the same way for a minute. Uh, so 24 is also the same thing. And then 25 and 26, we're going to wrap it up. Hopefully you're having fun here following along, and uh, if you have any questions, you can always send me an email at ryan at playbetterbanjo.com. Don't hesitate to do so. Always happy to hear from you and happy to uh, help out. Uh, what I'm going to do right now to put all this into context, as per usual, I'm going to play this nice and slowly just as it's written in the tab.